Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, tech lead and partner at Westport. And today I'm answering one of your questions as a subscriber on my channel. And this one just comes recently. Basically, he's asking, um, should, if I'm a beginner, should I learn PHP or JavaScript? And this is a pretty common question that a lot of you guys are actually going to be asking. Now, before we begin, I just want to give some context. Uh, what is JavaScript? What is PHP? What type of JavaScript? So we're going to compare the basic beginner part of JavaScript, which is the front end stuff. Okay. Front end JavaScript versus back end PHP. So this is the first thing you have to have some context. The next thing we're going to be talking about is it going to be out of the box. So there will be no installation, more uh, good minimal level. I will then recommend that, but we have to start there. I'm not talking about Node.js. I'm not talking about fancy stuff or how we're going to add databases that will all not be considered. So it is basically front end JavaScript, plain vanilla versus PHP. So to compare the two, I've broken it down into three main areas that beginners are concerned with. Now, the kind of beginner I'm talking about is someone who's read a little bit. That's the, our premises. Let's talk about the three areas. The first one is ease of getting set up. So on JavaScript side, first of all, you just can't run that thing. You need a server. So you either have to go and download Node.js and you probably have to download NPM. You probably have to go and figure some of these things out. Um, it's going to be a little bit more uh, breaky. And then after you've set up the thing, you're going to have to do some HTML, right? You're going to have to include your um, HTML tags. And then finally, you can start your JavaScript. Now, JavaScript by itself, personally, I haven't done anything without jQuery. And nowadays, I just do Vue.js. But plain vanilla by itself, the syntax is actually very complex. So anyway, that's the first part, ease of getting started. JavaScript, not great. PHP, on the other hand, you can install something called XAMPP that is, has a Windows uh, installer. It has an Apple installer, Mac installer, and it gets you all the way to the point where you're running a web server and actually displaying pages. I actually recommend this all the time when I'm teaching people. If they want to learn coding, go and download Sam because it's going to have everything. I'm not just talking about the PHP. It'll have the database. It'll have the uh, email spoofing set up for you. But for today, we're just talking about the PHP and it's so much easier. You just load the whole thing. And after that, you can just start coding your PHP. So round one, ease of getting started. The winner is PHP. Number two, the ease of learning the language. So we're going to talk about JavaScript first. First thing with JavaScript is that, again, you need to know HTML. You need to put tags in there and actually exploit that uh, DOM uh, elements. Now, another problem with JavaScript is how the variables work. You have to define them. You have to know about types. You have to know what is a string, what is a float, what is an integer. Now, this can be very, very complex for a total beginner because what is that? So that's a negative point down there. The other thing is uh, the how the arrays work in JavaScript. You know, we have uh, arrays, we have objects, we have conversions, we have the way that you set up the objects. They're pretty, pretty complex. Now, add to that the last part, which is error reporting. You basically have to do a console log not very much information each time. The error, it, it's very variable with what kind of error reporting you can get. Now flip to PHP. So the first area, as I said, is variables. PHP is extremely forgiving about variables. You've heard about it. You just have to put a dollar sign and uh, you know the, your name and you define the variable. And it doesn't matter if it's a float, an int, uh, a string it, you can do a lot of things with it very little problems with that so it's very mutable when it comes to arrays php's array is a lot more flexible so it's a lot easier for beginners there are a lot more functions to uh, work with php on this you know how array mapping and these all come outside the box so in round two ease of use uh, between learning the languages, again, I go to PHP. Finally, point three, power of the language. 
Now, what I'm going to talk about is that what can you do when you're learning? One of the most frustrating things as a beginner, right, is that you learn something that has no application or use at all or very limited amount of power. So that's kind of like, you know, learning to drive your car where it only has gear one. Now, talking about JavaScript, first of all, not really that many things you can do with it. A lot of libraries are not in, uh, accessible. You have to actually use third-party libraries. Uh, it's not really meant for powerful access because it's a front-end language. It's only limited by your browser. Whereas, if you look at PHP, PHP is a back-end language. You are accessing tons and tons of these functions that are available outside the box. We have date, time, managers, we have a lot of array functions, tons of array functions. You have uh, file writes and file puts, a lot of power because it is a backend language. It's easier to actually tap this and there are a lot more things that you can build with a basic level of PHP. Even if you wanted to make a calculator in J uh, JavaScript, that would be extremely difficult. The syntax is quite hard. Uh, you also have to understand, so, summing up, Round one, winner, PHP, much easier to get started, comes out of the box. Round two, ease of the language, no doubt, winner, it's a slam dunk. PHP extremely forgiving, <laughs> arrays are very easy, uh, defining variables are very easy, um, defining strings are very easy, Don't, no worries. Only one issue between the two, probably I would say JavaScript, you don't have to put the semicolon in the end, PHP, you put the semicolon, that's about it. Round three, the power, slam dunk. PHP is a back-end language, full access to the server. JavaScript is a front-end language, very limited amount, only powered by your browser. So when you sum all these three areas, I would say to you, I would recommend, if you want to learn something, learn PHP first, and then you can branch out to JavaScript. Based on these things, overall winner, PHP. And that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.